Hello guys, what is up? BickBroJack here with a new tutorial and today I will be showing you how to install shaders for Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy. So let's start out. We uh, have our links, they will be in the description. This is where you actually will get your shaders core which you will need in your mods folder but I will show you that so you're going to hit this download button right here this is for GLSL shaders mod and this is the core so you're going to definitely need that that is essential so once you do have that um, you're going to want to go over here and type in percent at data percent and uh, this is for Windows 7 but uh, if you are on Windows 8 or a Mac just navigate to your dot minecraft folder and you're gonna open that up and get all these nice files here and you're going to go into your mods folder and uh, if you don't have a mods folder just right click hit new and uh, create the folder and name it mods just like it is here uh, it's case sensitive and you're also going to need to create another folder called shader packs so do the exact same thing with the mods folder if you didn't have that you can right click hit a new file or new folder sorry and uh, you're going to name it shader packs and that is also case sensitive but we'll get to the shader packs in a minute so you're going to open up your mods I have uh, damage indicators already installed in Optifine but this is the one that you just downloaded right here the shaders mod core and it'll show the version right now this is for 2.3.4 and this will be working for 1.7.2 at the moment but this will work for any future versions I am most positive uh, as long as you download the correct shaders mod core so once you have that in there, uh, we can basically minimize this because you don't really need it anymore and uh, you can launch Minecraft actually. It's really that fast. Uh, it, it is like a mod. But um, yeah, uh, to get the actual shaders in there, I believe that there are uh, preset internal shaders that you can just turn on. But if you want like a custom shader pack, you can down them offline. I also have uh, a few of them down in the description as well that you can go and check out. Um, I'll be showcasing these in the video at the moment. I have five and all these links will be in the description below for you to download these. So yeah, once you do get your own shader pack and you download them, you're just going to drag the... Uh, this type of file, uh, it's a WinRAR zip file. So uh, it, it might just say a zip file for you if you don't have WinRAR. But yeah, you're just gonna drag the file into there and this will be your shaders that you will actually use in game. So we're gonna need to run 1.7.2 Forge. You have to make sure Forge is downloaded for this to actually work. So we're gonna hit play and we're gonna wait for this to load up and um, also, I'll probably include my texture pack down in the description as well. I'm using uh, Faithful 32 by 32 and that is a really good uh, texture pack. It just kind of is a little bit different than the default. So yeah, it is. Uh, it works really well in my opinion. Uh, I actually showcase that in my top five uh, resource packs. But anyway, uh, let's go into here and uh, once you do hit options, oh, wait, let's make sure my music is off. Master volume at like 50%. I'm not sure why it changes it back to normal. I normally will set that. But yeah, if you go into uh, your options, you can actually hit shaders and it'll show you all the different shaders. So this is what I was talking about. You can have none. This is the internal one that's already in there. And these are the shader packs that you downloaded and you put in there. And also there's uh, some different settings uh, on the right side there. So that's pretty neat. And uh, yeah, so yeah, it'll be loaded. If you look under the mods, oh, it just crashed on me. Okay, not gonna hit on mods. We're gonna go to single player. Uh, I guess we'll just uh, open the mod world. Sure, why not? This is just a world I have created for any mods that I showcase. We'll wait for that to open. Oh, what was that sound? Okay. Okay, awesome. All good. Okay, so when it first opens up, you're not gonna have any shaders on at the moment. Uh, let's just get rid of the stuff in my inventory. You just do slash clear. Okay, it lagged a little bit in the beginning. So let's just get our settings that we want. Um, we will put faithful over there because that does help with uh, if you have any low FPS. This will be really good because actually uh, shaders do um, use up a lot of SPS and they'll actually bring it down a lot. So I don't really use it that much. Uh, I used to use it a lot more. 
in uh, Minecraft 1.6.2, but not as much. Uh, now 1.7.2, it just makes it really laggy, probably because it's still in beta. So let's check out this first shader. Um, each one is just a tad bit different on the way that it'll modify. It's kind of like uh, texture packs, but for uh, actually shaders. So uh, I always like to look at the sun. The sun looks really good in most of these shader packs. It looks like the actual sun. Uh, so we can look at the different, uh, the different textures that it adds. Oh, sorry about that. So we can look at all these. Um, it is this one, this specific shader pack does make uh, this Minecraft very laggy. I'd like to check out kind of like the, sh the actual uh, shadows that it does and the water. This water looks okay. Uh, some of the other water does look a little bit better. So the water actually has like shadows and stuff like that. But let's uh, look at a different one. This is Rudo Plays. It's done. See how the water's a little bit more blue in this one. And check out the sun. The sun looks like a little bit more like the regular Minecraft sun in this one. And uh, yeah, the shadows, they look basically the same. Let's try out a couple of the other ones. Uh, Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders. This one is very popular among the shader packs, but it does uh, lower your FPS a lot. This one, the water is probably the most notable thing in it. And the sun is just like the normal sun in the real world. It's very bright. Yeah, but definitely the water, it looks very realistic in this one. So let's uh, go to this one. Shaders uh, 1.6.2, this is like a generic one. And this one, the water looks pretty good. It's like a little bit wavy water. This is the one that I normally will use. This is like my personal favorite. Just because it doesn't really lower your FPS that much and it does add uh, like the wavy water and it does look really nice. And then let's move on to the last one. This is just waving plants. So this one will make the plants just wave a little bit. Uh, the other parts of like the shaders, like uh, like the shadows, there's no shadows in this one. This one just kind of makes uh, your plants just wave a little bit, especially when there's like a storm outside. Um, it'll like wave a lot and they'll mash around and stuff like that. But yeah, that's really it. Um, this is a kind of a short tutorial on how to get shaders for Minecraft. So I really hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to smack that like button if you did like this video. And yeah, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel as well for more tutorials and mod showcases and uh, let's plays and stuff like that. So yeah, that's really it. My name is Beckbro Jack and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.